something. How many registered know. voters are there in Harpers About, Ferry? Well, the, 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 the count said it's misleading because a lot of people had already moved out of town when, the, you know, when, it, was, when it was printed. I think 240 or something Those are like the that. number of registered voters? That's, that's, that's something like that, yes. That's uh, pretty good percentage-wise, I'd say, in terms of uh, how much you see in generally in mm -hmm. a turnout. And, and the, a lot of the people in Harpers Ferry really travel quite a bit, and some of them were out of town. But many of them um, knew about, and we tried to emphasize, the fact of absentee ballot. If you, you, know, you know you're going to be out of town, just go down to the town hall and get the town recorded, and you can vote ahead of time, right up to the day before. A lot of people didn't know that. And I want to say another thing that may have helped me is I knew a lot of the people coming in to town. And we have a lot of new families and uh, people that have moved in. And I went around to them, and I, I noticed they were not registered when I went to the courthouse to get the, the list. So I went and said, don't you want to vote and, to, and, and partake in the <laughs> next election? And they said yes. So, so I went to the courthouse and got the forms, brought them to them, had them sign them, and took them back to the courthouse farm. And I uh, registered about... 12 new voters, and they may have voted for me and may have not, and I think that's important. These people certainly want to uh, partake in, in the local government, but they're busy. When you move, you know, moving is a very uh, tremendous uh, undertaking, and they may have forgotten that, especially this is off year, it's not a presidential voting year, mm -hmm. so we don't have the people traditionally don't get all that excited about an election, but they say, oh yes, we want to vote, okay, we'll get you on the rolls, and we squeaked a lot of people by, by getting that in. Um, what, 30 days before the election or a certain number of days. But I think um, people need to know those rules. And, mm. and, and, and they're, they're very fair, and the people at the courthouse are wonderful about, you know, supplying you the information and giving you the, the proper papers to fill out. So I, was, I was just doing some quick calculations here based on the numbers you gave me. You had a 61% voter turnout. That's well, awesome. Well, see, we should have 90, and I'm going to work <laughs> on that. <laughs> but, but when you compare that to national elections, that is absolutely awesome. Well, you see, Harper's Ferry um, really needs to set the pace and be an example. I think we mm -hmm. have a perfect chance there to say, look, we're in Har we, in, we in Harper's Ferry exercise all our rights to be, I mean, we're proud, and we vote, which is so important, because if you don't vote, you're going to lose it, you're going to lose democracy as we know it today. Um, and voting kind of requires you to do other things also, which, which are very important to democracy, I think. And that is staying informed about the candidates. When you walk into that voting booth, you better know before you look at the ballot who's on there. That's, that's right. And I think, too, we want to get more people um, to the, the town meetings, which are, you know, the second Monday of every month. Um, it certainly is worth the price of admission. A lot of <laughs> funny things happen. A lot of serious things happen. They've been downright fiery in the past. They now have, and, and uh, they, they, you know, I think there are always going to be a lot of. It's a lot of action happens there, and people are, um, you know, sh showing, you know, telling uh, what how they feel about things, and that's a, not an easy thing to do. Some people, of course, are um, a little more reticent than others to get up, and but I think the people that live in Harpers Ferry want to know, uh, they want the government to know how they feel. And that's what, with a, with a strong council that we have, and the people are like, and the people and their ideas, um, I'm, I'm, I'm hope I'm, I'm going to look forward to my council. They're going to work very hard. I know they are. <laughs> and I'm going to make them work hard. <laughs> and uh, uh, I would like to see um, uh, the mayor really be kind of a shepherd, maybe uh, uh, introducing things. But the council, I think, is the backbone. And, and I hope that the, right, the Lord the, Mayor the, sitting right, up there I, bounding I, the gavels. Well, this will be right. I think that some. I don't know whether just you know being mayor does something different to you or not. We we will see. I hoping that I you know stay the same Kip Stoll and listen and uh, talk. I I do need to get out more. Even though I get out, I don't. I feel I don't get out enough. And I think a lot of people say, oh, all these people come again every two years. They come by and see me and <laughs> want my <laughs> vote. And I think that we need to um, have a newsletter out. Uh, we need, um, I should take the door off the mayor's office so that, you know, people aren't, don't feel inhibited. I don't know a town hall in the country that isn't, you know, you go in and, boy, it's just loaded with Very you know, that bad atmosphere. Yeah. Not bad, but it's not welcoming. Kind of heavy. Yeah, you know, no, yeah. Uh, it is heavy. And I, I'm not sure. I think with our creative people in Harvestory, we can make it a less... Uh, heavy. We have an elevator well. so that older people can get up, you know, and people yeah. that have injuries can get up to the second floor and talk. And you're meeting your ADA requirements. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. That's very important. 